Dodger Stadium. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And today on the hill, Shohei Otani. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And here comes hey. Brendan Donovan leading things off and takes a strike. Here comes the 1. Ball one, one there. Ball, right. Chases that one out of the zone. And that's the first out. First punch out of the game for Otani, and we all know Shohei brings a lot of talent to the field on both sides of the ball, but that splitter is perhaps his biggest weapon on the mound. It's nasty when it's right. He gets a lot of swings and misses with that pitch. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Wouldn't chase that time. Otani, a former All-Star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards right center. Sizing this one up, calls it in, two away. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step oh, out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Two out spaces empty. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Muncie drifts towards it, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it, no score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in L.A., and on the mound in this one, it's Sonny Gray. What's the scouting report on him? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup here. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. And he deals. Mookie Inside, Betts, the leadoff one. batter, as he looks at ball one. You rewind and think back to those Giants teams that won three world titles. They were pretty good contact-based teams. Obviously, the Royals hey. as well. It feels like it's Royal swinging one. back a little bit towards there's an advantage to having some guys in your lineup that make contact. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That misses the zone, and the count is even, two and two. Goes down looking. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. All one's the count. 
Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. Kicks and deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's in the dirt. And it's one and two. One out, base is empty. That one just misses. Stays alive. Righty delivers. That one just misses the outside corner. And a full count now. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. The batter now will be Will Smith. On the inside corner for a strike. Man at first, one away. Bounce to the right, and he picks it up in foul territory. Close there. Now one and two. Lifted in the air, right field. Two away. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. Now with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. You have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. And the right-hander deals. That nope. just misses. And that's ball two. No, no. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Two outs. Fouls it back with two strikes. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Here comes the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Nothing on the board for the Dodgers in the first. We're back on the show from Chavez Ravine in a few. No score. Here at Dodger Stadium, new inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And the pitch. 
Ball that's inside. off the inside edge. Ball one. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different Aye. angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. And there's a foul ball. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand Whoa. defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. That one called just inside, I think. And on the mound, He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Smith gathers, throws, and it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That's out to center field. Out and under it. That's out number two. Here's Nolan Gorman. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. That one missed. No score here in the second. And the righty deals. Just off the outside edge. Three and two now. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Caught him looking for the pay. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Chavez Ravine, bottom half of inning number two, and at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. And the right hater back to work. There's a strike. Outman goes six feet, three inches, 215 pounds, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. That one laced to center and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch misses. Boom, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. With the go-ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson the sub boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? The pitch. And fouled off. That's in there. 
Two balls, two strikes. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And another ball. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. And one out now. Chris Taylor now. First oh, pitch doesn't out. find the zone. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. Outman back on a dive. Outman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Riding to the plate. Next offering misses down and away. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Makes the grab. Here's Jason Hayward. The right field. Jason Hayward. Runner on the goal. Pitch Check outside. Out. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. That's down and in. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. That's off the mark, and that's ball three. Gavin Lux waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Runner at second, two down. So now two on and two outs. That yeah, just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So to a board and two outs, scoreless game. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. That one misses. That's five straight. Two on, two outs. Fouled off. He was late. Here's a 1-1. High fly ball down the left field line. Walker makes a nice running catch. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Right-hander back to work. All right, singing, you know him a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. And another ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The 3-1. 
To the right side. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Everything came together for him. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. And the first pitch misses for ball one. All tied up. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Pickoff move to first, and he's back in there. And a pitch. And he swings through that one. One ball, two steps. That one is absolutely belted. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. In to score from first. And it's 1-0. Clutch hitting right there to give him the lead this late in the ball game. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now here is Mason Wynn. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. All ones the count. And a swing to Mills. Well, that's that slope out there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to it. Foul ball still 0-2. Otani, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Man at second. Just missed. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. At the play, Brendan Donovan. And that one wrapped foul. And that's outside. And it's one and one. In the air, left side. Hernandez settles underneath it. Two down. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. He's all for one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Late on that fastball. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. Comes up empty, that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Edmund at second with two down. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Cardinals one and the Dodgers nothing.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And now the shortstop, Mookie Betts. Gray, back to work. Right through there for a strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time. And the drop third strike leads to the first out. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, and people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. First pitch just misses. Ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And up to the plate is Will Smith. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the last half of the third. In there at the knees, and it's 0 and 2. This guy's pounding this zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Fights that one away. And the count remains 0-2. Good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that back side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. And it's through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now it's Max Muncy. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. And the pitch. Fall off foul. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Two outs. That's oh, off the mark, and it's two and two. That's a really good take. Two-two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. That one inside, and that's ball three. James Outman up next for the Dodgers. Left-hand batter waits. Good play appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. So first and second with two outs. And now James Outman. In the air to left down the line. Makes the grab and that's the inning. 
Dodgers strand a couple. They trail here, one nothing. And we're back. Start of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. Lars Newtbar. The pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. Bounce to third. Makes a sliding stop. Over to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 1 so far. That one finds the zone. Going to 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number 4. Now one, one and one. One ball, one strike. On a line, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all now, over that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Just yep, off the outside out. edge. Ball one. Arenado, the base runner at first with one out. And yeah, that's outside. And now 2 0. Oh. He hasn't wanted to challenge him both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a pitch. And oh, another down. ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Next nice. offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a 3 2. And he walked him. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Here's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Fastball in for a strike, 0-1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss. Ooh, bye, yeah. You gotta give her to take the donut off the bat, Barbara. Fly ball down the line. On the run towards the line. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Walker. Singled and scored his first time. Off the mark there, and it's 1-0. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, two outs. 
Not close with that one. And it's 3-0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Tommy Edmond in the on-deck circle. In for a strike. And the count is 3-1. and one. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. And that'll load the bases. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Doubled in his first A.B. Nope. Just missed. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's one and one. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Bases are full. And that's off the inside edge. Ball two. He goes down looking. So three left for St. Louis. But they still lead it one nothing. to kick the pitch high fly ball out into left center field Walker gets under it pulls it down and he makes the catch one up one down the batter number three designated hitter Chris. and up next for Los Taylor. Angeles Chris Taylor fly to left his first time Swings through that. Well, a come and get me oh, fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next offering is down low. One down, base is empty. Nope. That's inside. On the outside corner, two and two now. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Holding on to a one-run lead. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. This one in the air right field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Out number two. Now back, right field. Jason. And next for L.A., Jason Hayward. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. This is inside, and that's ball one. In the air, left field. Fair ball! I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now it's Gavin Lux. Close, but called the ball. Ball one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. 
Back to back base hits. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. So the lineup flips over. Here's Mookie now. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Swing and a miss. And it's all in one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Hayward on second. Lux on at first with two down. The shortstop takes the ball. Home plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. And a count one and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we go to the top of the fifth. Now, Mason Wynn. Wynn. The pitch swings through that one out in front that time. All one the count. Strike two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. Don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Out towards right center field. Hayward gets under it, makes the catch for the out, and there's one down. The designated hitter, Brendan. Now it's the Donovan. DH, Brendan Donovan. That hey. one at the knees for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next offering upstairs. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here's a one two. Up the middle. And to away now. Up next to the Cardinals. The first baseman. Paul two outs, base is empty. And up next for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. One finds the zone. That's strike one. And he deals. And that one is lifted in the air. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The wind of the pitch. Just oh, sorry, missed. And here it comes. 
And another ball. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Kicks and deals. Top of the zone for a called strike. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. Ball one low. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. one, and one. Good That's eye right three. there. A wind in the pitch. Off the mark there. And it down is three and one. Max Muncy waiting to bat for the Dodgers. pitch that one hooked foul a one run lead last half of inning number five outside and that is ball four gosh another walk in this one man he is having some real issues with control here's Oliver Marmol towards the mound and we're going to see a pitching change here Sonny Gray will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, Brian Helsley. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Number 56, Ryan Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. First pitch misses. Way to lay off that pitch down. Wouldn't chase that time. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. With the tying run on at first, and the home team trying to pull it out. That Freak one outside, full count now. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Righty delivers. Oh, and this one's blasted. It's on its way out of here. Ball game. He made him pay for that one, and they will walk it off.
Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.